going through one of those phases I usually have in winter where I want my hair to be darker and um, since there's only like a few weeks left of winter I'm going to do the non-permanent shrine drops. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I have someone cutting down trees. So at the moment, I'm trying to grow out um, most of the blonde I have in my hair. I'm trying to do like more of my natural color and then have like a little bit of light ends. So I'm gonna be using this um, shrine, warm toner drops. And then all you do is you put, I'm using 20 drops. You can use less if you want a lighter, but I want to match the darkest part of my hair. So I'm going to use 20 drops in a bowl. It comes with a cute little bowl like this. Use any of your favorite conditioner and then you just mix it all together and then dampen your hair and put it on. So let's do it. Okay, I've got 20 of the caramel toner drops in there. And I'm just going to mix this up. mixed up let's apply I'm just gonna wipe the end of this on my head oh, don't get in my clothes <laughs> try and wear like a not so favorite shirt of yours just in case you never know okay let's do it Of my hair you don't wash it you literally just rinse all the conditioner out until the water runs clear and I'm going to dry it it's looking dark but I can see a few light pieces so I'm nervous <laughs> I haven't had brown hair for years and years and years like like maybe five years now I haven't had brown hair and the last time I had it was only for like a month because I changed my mind so at least it's non-permanent are you gonna recognize mama are you gonna recognize your mama? Hey, are you gonna recognize mama? Hey, darlings, is daddy going hunting? Look, he's leaving us. He's packed all his things. Is daddy going hunting? Okay, it is looking quite dark, but there's definitely some like highlights in there, which I suppose is a good thing. But remember, when hair's wet, it looks literally like. 50 times darker and then when it's dry. So when it's dry, I don't think it's going to be this dark. Let's see. I'm nervous, oh, but I'm excited. I love changing hair up. That's why it's actually the best thing to be blonde because if you're blonde, you can dye your hair pink, you can dye rose gold, you can dye platinum, you can dye blue, green. When you're brown, you have to bleach before you do that. So it's quite annoying. Heat protection, I use the L'Oreal Siri Expert. And I also use Olaplex. Uh, okay, so all dried. Let me move to better light because my... <clears throat> I actually tested my extensions. Sorry, they look ratty. I let them air dry. Um, I didn't put enough drops in them, so they don't match. But let me show you the finished result. My hair feels silky, feels smooth. There are a lot of still some light pieces in there like over here you can see light pieces but yeah it's it's like a caramel bronze toner they call it so it's not meant to be completely dark but i think it looks quite cool i mean it's a nice change so far so good what do you think what do you think what do you think <laughs> i did it again because the bottom halves were not getting um dark enough so this is the final result it's still very blondy on the top but yeah I guess it will wash out I did go for a trim at my beautiful hairdresser Ricky so she's cut some hair off it's not usually this short and I don't have to bleach it for the rest of the year so let's see how long this lasts I will 
update you. This is just shrine drops and conditioner. Um, I didn't do anything at the hairdressers besides a trim and um, some waves. And this is the finished result. So if you want to go darker without any any commitment, I would definitely recommend using the shrine drops. It looks a lot darker from where I'm sitting. Let me go into the sun and show you the light turns in it. Here we go. Okay. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.